What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and you're watching our college football channel. We continue here with our 2023 predictions. Kansas State is up next, and you take a look at some of the other predictions for this team. The FPI has them at 7.4 and 4.7. Athlon has them at 8 and 4. The over-under, it actually varies. I saw 7.5, 8, and 8.5, and so three different numbers, which is a little bit odd. Normally, when you look at these over-unders, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, but, uh, you know, different spots here for Kansas State. So that kind of tells me uh, 7 and 5, 8 and 4 is probably the most likely record. But Vegas, some of, some parts think they could possibly get to 9 and 3. So 7 and 5 to 9 and 3 seems to be where everyone is at uh, on this team. My thoughts on Kansas State. You know, when you look at them, you look at the returning production, you look at recruiting rankings, things like that. On paper, this team shouldn't be very good. In fact, they should probably be one of the lower team, lower tier teams in the Big 12. But it's what they do, developing players, finding the right fits. Uh, they've proven that it works. And if you look at some of the guys that are expected to contribute this year, you've got some players that are redshirt sophomores that haven't really played, but they've been there for two years, learning, developing. They brought in some JUCO guys. They're really big into that. And so you just have to kind of trust this coaching staff and figure they're going to be pretty good uh, because they get a lot out of a little uh, as, as far as talent goes. And that's really why the FBI's probably got them as low as they do because talent-wise, recruiting rankings, all of that, Kansas State just doesn't stack up with uh, Texas or Oklahoma or even TCU, some of the other teams in the Big 12. Uh, but I think this team's going to be very solid. The defense should be really solid. The run game should be good. Will Howard back at quarterback. I, I just think Kansas State's going to be, once again, better than... I wouldn't say better than people expect, because I think people have kind of figured it out. I think a lot of people now realize, look, Kansas State, because of the way they're coached, because of the way they develop players, they're going to be good. They proved that last year. Definitely uh, were, were finished higher than what people expected. And so, again, I think expectations are pretty high for Kansas State this season you take a look at the schedule they're gonna open up with Southeast Missouri and then Troy uh, Troy could be a tricky game you know that's a pretty good group of five team I wouldn't expect Kansas State to go in there and and beat them by 40 points but I do think they win by at least a couple of touchdowns so I think they start off 2-0 with wins over Southeast Missouri and Troy then you've got a game against Missouri on September 16th you go back to last year's game, it was a complete blowout. Kansas State absolutely dominated that game. But I don't think that really tells the story of, of where those two teams were. If you look at the rest of the season, you look at Missouri, uh, Tennessee is the only other team that really beat them easily. They were in every other game that they played. And this is a Missouri team that would be, be playing at home. And also you look back at that game last year, four turnovers for Missouri. Kansas State had a special teams touchdown. So everything just went the way of the Wildcats. Could that possibly be flipped this year? I think Missouri's a team that's flying under the radar. They're going to be very solid on defense. I think Brady Cook is underrated as a quarterback, and he's got some weapons out there at wide receiver. I just think this Missouri team is going to be better than a lot of people expect. It's a revenge game for them. They're playing at home. And again, they've got a defense that I think is going to be able to slow down the Kansas State run game because we know that's what Kansas State's going to want to do. And I think they'll slow them down enough uh, to keep this game close. And I think this is a game that really could go either way that will be very close. And I'm going to say that Missouri finds a way to get it done. I'm actually going to pull an, uh, call for an upset here. I think Missouri pulls off the upset. They beat Kansas State in week three. Um, and Kansas State's also a team that, that gets better as the season goes. And we've kind of seen that as well. Look at how they finished last year in the Big 12 Championship. Now let's ignore their bowl game against Alabama because they obviously got blown out. Uh, but as far as the, the Big 12, the regular season, all of that, they got better as the season went. Remember they lost to Tulane after that Missouri game last year? So uh, interesting matchup there in Week 3, but I'm going to go with the upset. They play UCF next. Uh, UCF on paper, probably a better, more talented team than Kansas State. I think they also uh, have more returning production. So there's definitely reason to be concerned here if you're Kansas State. Uh, potentially two losses in a row. The good news is they're playing at home, and I just feel like uh, it'll be a, a very close game, but the run game for Kansas State will be enough to pull off this win. UCF has a really good secondary. That's going to be the strength of their defense, but against the run, that could be an area where Kansas State has some success. They find a way at home, and they get that win, but I think it'll be close. And then they get a bye week before a week nine game against Kansas or against Oklahoma State, I should say. Very tough place to play. Week night game. 
Uh, those are all, I mean, we see upsets all the time. And Oklahoma State's a team that I think is going to be better than a lot of people expect because they look at the transfer portal and all those players they lost, but they brought in several guys as well, some key players. Alan Bowman, who has experience in the Big 12, coming in to play quarterback. This is going to be an Oklahoma State team that's going to be good, I think. But the bye week for Kansas State might be enough. That might be enough. They should be really prepared for this game. It's a tough one. I've really gone back and forth on this specific game, but I'm going to pick Kansas State to get the win. And really, it kind of comes back to Missouri and Oklahoma State. I think they win one and lose one. So you can flip those if you want. Uh, but those are two very tough picks for me. I think they win one of them but lose the other, and it could easily be a win over Missouri and a loss to Oklahoma State. Uh, they play Texas Tech next, October 14th, on the road. Really good team. I think this is going to be a, a tough, hard-fought game. Pretty even when you look at these two rosters. I think the, this is a this one really that could go either way, but uh, usually when I'm torn, I'm going to go with home field advantage. I'm going to pick Texas Tech to get the win here and give Oklahoma State or give Kansas State their second loss. Next is TCU on October 21st. Rematch of the Big 12 Championship. TCU beat them in the regular season last year. Kansas State playing at home. TCU is is going to be good. I think I think if you've watched my predictions, I I've got this team having a really good season again, but I think they're not going to be quite as good as last year. Kansas State playing at home. They find a way to win it again, but it'll be tough. It'll be another I mean, you look at this schedule. Missouri, UCF, Oklahoma State, Texas Tech, TCU. Those are all going to be very hard-fought games. Probably all games that come down to the fourth quarter, maybe the final play. That That's a, a very tough schedule there with those five games, and we should see some really good games from Kansas State this year. They play Houston on October the 28th. Not quite as good as some of these other teams that they've played. I think Kansas State really comes in prepared for this one. I don't think Houston's really going to outmatch them talent-wise. I think Kansas State has the advantage Again, in the coaching on the coaching side of things, I think they play really well here, and they win this one by at least a couple of touchdowns. They beat Houston and get to six and two. Then they'll play Texas on November fourth. I talked about you know how good this team, how well coached this team is, but when they go up against really talented teams, teams that just have a lot more talent than them, we'll look back at Alabama last year, look at Texas last year. I think that's where they might run into some problems. Texas is going to be very talented. Uh, this is going to be one of the better Texas teams, I think, uh, in, in quite some time. Playing on the road, everything just against Kansas State here. I think Texas wins uh, by a couple touchdowns probably, and Kansas State falls to 6-3. and three. They'll play Baylor after that on the 11th, back at home. Pretty even matchup. I think Kansas State will be a little bit better than, than Baylor. I think playing at home as well, going to give them that advantage. Should they find a way to get it done? Close game, and I think that's going to be the story of the season. A lot of close games. If they can find, the, find a way to win them, it could be another really good year for Kansas State, but it could also go the other way. I mean, you could lose some of these close games and have a pretty rough season, but I think they are going to have a good season. They play Kansas on the 18th. I've talked about UCF and Kansas both being similar in terms of returning production. Kansas probably doesn't have the talent that UCF has, but this is on the road for Kansas State. Rivalry game. I think it's going to be a tough, hard-fought game. Kansas State, though, they get it done. Close game, maybe a one-score game, but I'm going to go with Kansas State. And then they close things out with Iowa State at home. Uh, should be another tough, hard-fought, lower-scoring type game. You're going to see that, I think, in, in several of these games for Kansas State. But I'm not going to pick against them at home against Iowa State. So I've got them winning that game and finishing 9-3. and three. But again, you look at these games. Oklahoma State on the road, UCF, TCU, Baylor on the road at Kansas. Could easily see them slip to 8-4. and four. I was really back and forth on 8-4 and four or 9-3. and three. As good as this team, I think, is going to be... Uh, I don't know that they have the talent to just go out there and, and go 11 and one again, or you know have a, a, a big time season like that. Or I guess they were 10 and two last year, whatever it was. But I still think they have a good season, a really good season, maybe enough to get to the back to the Big 12 championship with only two conference losses. Uh, so yeah, I'm high on Kansas State once again. I've got them going nine and three. Give me your predictions down in the comments below. And thanks for watching this video.